All right, so I thought this was a great idea. Don't laugh yet, all right? <laughs> I thought from the top I would be able to do something that's far more dynamic, showing a strong foreground and what was happening in the background through a sense of elevation. I knew that the sun was low, casting the shadows, but my own shadow was getting in the way. I did my best to put my shadow over that subject as you can see here but it just didn't work all that well I could have just said well that's that but no moved around to a different location shot across much much better there's a lot of wood happening there and then still not a hundred percent so I moved to try to take advantage of the huge pile of wood and there you go Bedford, and we have uh, the captain Shay is retiring. This is his final day. Everybody's out here wishing him uh, for retirement, and uh, yeah, it's pretty emotional. When I found out that Captain Shay was retiring after 39 years of service, and on his last day. The tradition is to give him a ride back home after his shift ends. I was all over this. You gotta just become part of the wallpaper, so to speak. Follow him around. No talking. Just observe, document, look for interesting angles. Every part of the photograph should tell a story. Here he is, signing off for the last time. And then you get aboard. Even better. in any town in any city is a big brotherhood sometimes it's easy to forget these guys live with each other they cook for each other they go fight fires knowing or hoping that their fellow firefighter has their back as journalists it's hard to sometimes break into this brotherhood when you do make sure you make the best of it Once again, I am at on the waterfront in New Bedford. And man, it's actually not bad right here, but it was like 25 degrees this morning. That's Fahrenheit. Pretty cold. These guys are putting in new zincs on the pier. And uh, yeah, I mean, on shots like this, the thing to understand is. If you want to get some sparks flowing, you, you've got to set long shutter speeds, obviously. But without any tripods, because I don't carry anything besides the two cameras and the two lenses, that's it. you got to stabilize it somehow. And if you saw, I was using one of my other cameras uh, as a spacer so that the, you know, the wide angle it was facing in the right direction. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. 
but we're still on a floating dock, so you know there's going to be a little bit of movement no matter how hard you try.